Plus, I've been sent a channel, even though it only has 68 subscribers at the time of me recording this, I've been sent it a fair amount, and people have been asking, is it me? And for good reason, they're pretending to be me for some, and somehow people are falling for it. I don't know how, it's not overly deep, it's just really strange, right? It's just a real, like, and, okay, so he made a video here. First of all, I don't know why you would think this would be me. Look at that janky ass thumbnail. Do you really think I'd make a thumbnail that bad? And I know, I know, I know, like, half the thumbnails on this channel are just, like, screen caps of me just sitting here. In all likelihood, the thumbnail on this video is just me sitting here. Either way, on this channel, thumbnails typically don't take me longer than 10 minutes, but still, that looks like it took, maybe, someone maybe slightly longer than 10 minutes if they're new to Photoshop, and it looks awful. If you really think I'd make a thumbnail like that, I am ashamed of you. But yeah, no, it's, I, I just thought I'd make a video on this today, because it's really, really strange. And at the end of this video, I want to talk about something, so please stick around. This isn't just me trying to farm retention, I promise. Like, there is something important I want to talk about at the end of this video, so please stick around. So anyway, let's watch this uh, video he's made. Well, I've made, apparently. Let's give it a look. I'm being totally candid. I have watched this whole video, um, and it is bizarre. All right. So he opens with my old intro as if I would do that on, like, <laughs> as if I would do that on, like, a new channel or something. Right, okay. So welcome back to another video. Today, I'm on the channel uh, it's a brand new channel it's literally never been seen on youtube before there's absolutely no uploads <laughs> as i'm filming this it's got zero subscribers so we'll see how that goes so basically i just wanted to make a new channel just actually talk about things i actually you know give a fuck about and also just write about some things i've had a lot of things go on in my life recently right uh <laughs> okay i don't understand how anyone can think this sounds like me he sounds nothing like me. He's actually got a pretty good justification for it in the comments. I'm posting this comment to make it very clear that in the video I'm not trying to be entertaining. My voice is dead and less engaging and more real. Alright, it's definitely a voice you're putting on though. <laughs> like, anyone can tell you're like straining your voice to try and sound more like me. I'm tired of putting on an <laughs> excited, happy voice for YouTube when I'm fed up of making content. Oh god. But this guy sounds nothing like me. I mean, he maybe sounds, a he's southern, essentially. He's southern. Like, I, I swear, people think I have a very distinct distinctive voice. I don't. It's just because I don't have anything else you can really focus on. I do not have a distinctive voice. There's like a whole area of England where most of the male population sounds like me. But this guy don't even sound like me. I can't even talk about on the main channel or even the second channel just because it's not really like, it's not the sort of content that you can post. Like the algorithm's not going to care. This video is not even for the algorithm. I just want to make it because I'm, I'm genuinely, you know, going through it right now. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, you know, me, you know, I'm always very open about, you know, the things going on in my life. Yeah, I would definitely make it a new channel and talk about all the all the hardships I'm going through. I'll probably keep making videos, maybe about finance and, and stuff like that. I, I actually don't know. Okay, right. So uh, I have thought about making a channel like this before, uh, where, and I have mentioned it. I think I mentioned it in like one of the last videos I made on this channel. I have thought about making a video like this where I just play, put gameplay on and just talk about some miscellaneous topic that wouldn't really fit on either one of my channels at the moment. But um, yeah, I promise you this channel is not me. <laughs> and uh, today I thought I'd talk about a breakup that recently recently happened. Uh, it's not public. It's just my personal life. It's been a breakup that I've found really, really fucking difficult. And um, just to, to sort of give context, uh, I sort of have an announcement. So I got engaged and that was incredible. I had a really, really good day. Right. I, I really, really enjoyed myself. It, it, was, it felt magical, man. Yeah, okay. Right. Okay. Well, to clarify, I, I, I'm not engaged. I never have been engaged. Yeah. I just thought I'd get that out of the way. But yeah, it's been about a month or two since I got engaged. My fiance left me. So um, I'm not engaged anymore. I've taken the ring off. I, I literally threw it across my room. Right. What do you mean the ring? I don't think men wear engagement rings. What do you mean you took off your ring and threw it across? Oh, wow. That's mad. You're so angry. It's, it's been a pretty, pretty hard week. It's been really, really fucking difficult. I don't really think people I, understand. It's just, this is just so weird. Why would someone pretend to be me <laughs> going through a breakup? It's so weird. Like, why are you, I don't understand the motivation behind this. It's so weird. With that being said, sorry if my voice is a bit shaky or anything like that. Uh, I'm on the verge of tears, so just give Give me a bit of a chance, yeah. But yeah, so basically I got engaged uh, about two months afterwards. Maybe not even that. It might have been a month afterwards. I honestly don't know the dates anymore. She said it was about mental health, which you can sort of understand mental health if people need time alone just to sort of process their thoughts and feelings. And obviously you should give them that space. It was all bullshit. It wasn't mental health at all. As I'm recording this, she's on a night out. She's on a girl's night out with my this other This is a pretty fucking elaborate story just to come up with it while pretending to be me. Well, I have a, <laughs> I have a feeling this is genuinely what this guy is going through and 
he just wants to vent. But he doesn't want anyone to know it's him. So he's just pretending to be me. And they're having a brilliant time, you know, getting pissed. Probably talking to other lads. Fuck knows what. <laughs> this guy's really fucking going through it. Oh my God. I mean, I'm going through it, of course, because this is my channel. Yeah, she broke up with me. We sort of agreed on the terms that I'll wait for her. I'll make sure she's all right. I can check in on her. Just obviously don't overwhelm her and whatever else. Uh, and we tried it for a few days and it just didn't work at all. This is such a complex story. Well, it's not necessarily complex. But he sat down, written this out, planned this out, and was like, oh yeah, I'm going to record this as memeless on a blank channel. Why? <laughs> this is so baffling. I don't get it. She just got bored of me and just left and, and that was the end of. She blamed it on mental health. Fuck it up. If, if I ever make a video like this, please have me sections. Like, I would never ever make a video like this. <laughs> what the hell? She had zero intention of ever coming back. Just totally fucking lied to me. Oh man, that fucking sucks. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. We FaceTime at night and stuff. It wasn't long distance, but she lived a little bit away. And so on the nights, I couldn't just go see her. Obviously, we FaceTime, whatever else. And uh, yeah, every time we FaceTimed, basically, she'd just... Middle of the night, she'd hang up the call. She'd be on Discord all night, wasn't it? <laughs> No, no. I would never date someone that spends all night on Discord. That's the ultimate red flag. Absolutely not. If I'm seeing someone and they know what Discord is, that's a red flag in of itself. But either way, she was lying to me. Every time I said, oh, are you calling someone else? She'd just say, no, I'm not calling anyone else. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. You know, I, I can relate, obviously, because this is me. <laughs> God, my ex fiance with Discord call with other people. Grr. It would rustle my jimmies proper. Basically, I was in a Discord server where she met oh, this yeah? girl. And um, I, I don't even, I don't think I'm a part of a single Discord server. I basically just use Discord for like work and like maybe to call some of my friends sometimes. Actually, you know, I am a part of a, a couple of them, but they're literally just like for like real life friends and shit. And like some that I've been added in by like YouTubers to like their server for some reason. I'm not an active part of a Discord server. You know, I've sort of put two and two together and realized, oh, you've been calling someone else. You were lying every time. You no, man, there's, no, there's nothing that stabs quite as deep as your ex Discord. Cool thing with someone else. <laughs> My ex fiance, uh, she was also a Twitch streamer. Oh, yeah. And um, well, since all this has happened, she's been making fun of me on Twitch. Oh, yeah, has she? Has she? You know, making fun of my anxiety, saying that <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> all right. We're not even halfway through this. <laughs> By the way, I'm just going to say trigger warning because I'm going to go into some deep topics. I'm going to be talking about eating disorders, self-harm, suicide, that sort of thing. So, you know, it's not nice. A lot of people don't know. And, you know, I get made fun of for being skinny or whatever else, short, whatever. But I actually suffered from anorexia for a very- This is really like, okay, this is where it gets like actually deep. Like, I don't know what, like, okay, you can make a funny way. You're like, oh, my fiance left me and his Discord calling other people. Like that, like whatever. But like, why is this person making a video claiming to be me and saying that I have like, eating disorders and anorexia and stuff and it, he go i'm not gonna keep this bit in because he goes into like a bit of detail like what i apparently do but it's it uh, talks about like self-harm and stuff and apparently like how i've been self like it's really weird like, i don't know why you make this video pretending to be me saying i've got like eating disorders and like i hurt myself like i don't know why you would do that it's a bit like it's a bit fucked. Especially when I had so much progress just to go straight back to that, you know, that horrible spot of just constantly throwing up, not eating, all that sort of thing. It's, uh, it's not fun. Yeah, like, what the fuck are you doing, Matt? Like, seriously, what are you doing with your time? Like, you're not getting any publicity out of this. I'm not showing your channel name. I'm not even showing the video name. This is just so strange. Like, honestly, I'm not even, like, mad. I'm not, like, angry or anything. I'm just really confused. Like, why, why would anyone do this? I I've had... Struggles with self-harm. No, I haven't. Just for clarity, no, I haven't. Uh, I'm going to skip this bit. I've been thinking about suicide. I've been thinking about just ending everything. Quite a lot, to be honest. What the fuck is this? This is so strange. I, and I, I don't know I don't know if anyone actually believes this. Because I've looked in the comments and most people are like, almost certain this isn't George and this story isn't real. But if this is real, damn, I hope this guy who probably isn't George is all right. He replied with very funny, it's Patrick. But on a real, this story is real and it is me. Didn't think that would be the question part of the video, TBH. Thank you, though. Right. This is... I don't know how you believe, because like I'm on my George M channel just being like, ha ha, let's read your assumptions about me. He he ha ha. And then at the same time, I'm apparently like this. All right. Uh, a lot of the time, I'll be honest, in friend groups, even just YouTube, everything, I've just felt like I don't really belong. And that's something I've always struggled with and especially, you know, anxiety and stuff like that. Our own friends even say that I just don't deserve this treatment and I didn't do anything wrong. It's not like, it's not just me. It's not like I've done something wrong. He's betraying me as like, you know, like an R slash nice guy. It's fucking sucks. 
this. Now that 375 people who watch this video think I'm just like some some nice guy loser. Fucking hell. Yeah, I just wanted to rant about it, to be honest, because, um, you know, it's difficult going through it alone. I haven't really spoken out to any friends or anything. Uh, some of her friends have reached. This is going on. Like, we're fucking 9 minutes 54 out of 12 minutes, basically. Like, wrap it up. Come on, wrap it up. But yeah, moving on, I'm just gonna, I don't know, focus on YouTube a bit more. Focus on money. Focus on, I don't know, crypto investing. Yeah, you know me. I, I'd be focusing on crypto. <laughs> I'd be focusing on crypto. Disregard women. Crypto. But yeah, I just wanted to make this to distract myself. Uh, if you enjoy this channel, you actually want to hear more heart to heart. Not subscribe to my just fucking dog shit content on my main channel. Oh, all right, yeah, great. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. I'll probably cry in some videos. Uh, I yeah. almost... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shut up. Right. Okay. So uh, I'm okay. Right. We finished the video. At the end of the day, like it, it's obviously not me. Like unless you're extremely gullible, you're not going to believe this is me. Uh, there was a little bit of it, obviously, where it got a, it got a bit like weird and and deep and I, I honestly i'm more just confused at that than like anything else it's just really confusing as to why someone would like make up that story while pretending to be me really weird and like this channel is trying to prove that they're like my channel so they've got uh this screenshot here of like you know like when you open like your channel listings whatever and he's put it on there to be fair it's a pretty decent photoshop he's done a pretty good job but this channel is obviously not me. And that brings me on to what I wanted to talk about at the end of this video. I spoke about this on Twitter a couple of times just because I, I get some worrying messages sometimes. On Instagram, I'll have people message me like, oh, it was so nice to meet you on Discord or oh, it was so nice to meet you on Omegle of all places. That's a really common one for some reason. People like pretending to be me on Omegle. But unless like you get a message from one of my official accounts, like my Twitter, my Instagram or something like that, it's not me. These messages are not coming from me. I will not just be on Omegle. I will not just be in a random Discord server unless I've like previously announced on like Twitter or one of my other official platforms. I don't use Snapchat. So like if you ever get a message or you're talking to someone who you think is me, it's not. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. Uh, stay safe. And yeah, unless a message comes from one of my official platforms, if I'm reaching out to you for some reason, it's not me. Okay, stay safe.